What's up everybody, my name is Braskus and welcome back to Two Point Hospital. So, um, I wanted to let you all know, thank you for having patience with me. Some of you may have noticed that I did not post a video yesterday, uh, and that was because, it's actually somewhat related to this, um, last night I had to take my son to the ER, because um, we were a little concerned. Don't worry, everything is completely 100% fine. We were just being overly cautious first-time parents. He just had a little stomach bug. Um, and wasn't really keeping anything down, but as of today, by the time I got home, he was pretty much back to his normal self, giggly and happy and totally fine, hadn't thrown up at all, so. Anyway, because of that, I didn't get home until 2 a.m. this morning, uh, which is, I guess at the time of the recording, Wednesday. Um, so I was not really functional for most of today, uh, and didn't get a video done, so. Anyway, we're back now. Thank you all for having patience with me. I'm sure you can understand where I'm coming from. So, we're gonna dive right into the third hospital. Because I am desperately curious to see what this one is going to be like. The last one was really small and had to be expanded. Okay, so, to get the most out of our staff, we'll need to train and promote them. When someone has gained enough experience on the job and had some training, they will be ready for promotion. By promoting them, their skills increase and they are able to learn a new qualification. They might also want a pay rise. Firstly though, we'll need to get a training license. The Two Point Health Ministry has promised to grant us a license if we can demonstrate our commitment to staff well-being here in Flottering. Okay. So staff morale of 55%. Current staff morale is, well, zero. Um, well, we should start probably by building a, you know, reception area. Uh, which is an items thing, isn't it? Reception. Uh, let's rotate. Oh! Ha! <laughs> they must have done a Halloween update. I did kind of hear the scream. I just thought that was... I don't know what I thought that was, but... Right, let's back it up a little bit. We'll put the what, like waiting room here as well. Reception needs an assistant. Yes, I know. Hire an assistant. Um, I've got $200,000. Ooh, wow. This guy's got quite the customer service reputation. I'm hiring him. And he's somehow cheaper than Amber Steel. You are hired, sir. All right, now we got that. So we better start by hiring or creating a GP's office, huh? And we'll just build the GP's office. Well, here, let's actually build it. I'm gonna be prepared to build it um, one behind the other, so I'll actually be ready to just, like, start by having two. Okay. And then we just want to do this quickly, so let's get this started. Um, is there anything else? I think we're good, right? Yeah. Then we need to hire the doctor, obviously. So, we'll hire... Wow, you are really expensive. Let's just start with this guy, because he's got decent diagnostic skills. Okay. So now we have a GP's office. We've got a doctor. We'll wait to see what the patient needs to be cured with, and then we'll build whatever he needs. Alright, what have we learned? Uh, we need a ward. Okay, get him to wait. And let's decide where we're going to build the ward. I think I'm going to put the ward up here, because the ward is better if you've got lots of space for it. So I'm actually going to build a pretty big one. Plus, having it that large has automatically made it level 2. Put that over there, then we'll set up our reception area over here. We'll put in our little changing area right there. And then we'll just start setting up the beds. One there, one there, one there. Uh, one in the corner. Then we'll rotate them and put them on the opposite side. We'll just have room for a whole bunch of beds. Seven should be good. All right, what else do we want in here? Uh, we don't need windows. Let's add a locker, pretty much just by each and every bed, because, I mean, people need a place to put their stuff, right? And hey, it's good for our uh, reputation if we build a hospital that has lots of, st or, uh, if the ward has lots of stuff, then that's basically just good for our reputation. Um, put a filing cabinet over here, the nurse might need one of those. Uh, we'll put a bin over here, and over here, we'll just have one on each end of the room. Throw in an extinguisher for fire safety, because we're hospital, we should have some of that. 
Uh, and then we'll just put in a couple of plants. And we'll stick on a poster as well. One on each end. Okay, now we're good. Fancy. And then I believe we need to hire a nurse, right? Yep, okay, hire nurses. Uh, preferably somebody with ward experience, diagnostic skills, motivation. All right, we're gonna hire qualified staff. Since we're just starting out, we kind of need to have good staff to begin with. Okay, we have a decent ward. Need to hire four more staff. Yeah, it's gonna be expensive for the first little while. Seven staff members and maintain good staff morale. Um, what do you need? Can I build additional areas out here? Are there plots of land I can buy? Yes, I can, okay. Um, what does he need? Pharmacy, okay, get him to wait. I'm gonna pause it, we're gonna get the pharmacy going. Um, I feel like the pharmacy should kind of be close by. So let's put the pharmacy just over here. Actually, you know what, no, I'm gonna move this. Put the pharmacy over here for now, and then we'll just fill it out. Okay. Pharmacy right there, we'll get our machine over here, we'll put in the, I don't really feel like a filing cabinet necessary, we'll put in a bin, extinguisher, we got a nice plant, um, put in a lightheadedness poster, and then we'll hire, oops, sorry, nope. Yeah, go ahead and make that. And then I need to hire another nurse, don't I? Yep, hire. Um, what about you, what do you have? Treatment, all right, we'll hire you. Okay, we're good. Now, I do feel like I probably ought to build a staff room because if I'm aiming to have decent staff, well, you know what, we'll worry about the staff room in a minute. Um, yeah, okay, actually I take it back. Let's just make a staff room now. Um, I'm not gonna make it huge like the ward. Well, actually I probably will on second thought. I need to make it a decent size to get the prestige thing going. Prestige level two. Plus if I'm gonna have enough people, I may as well make it nice. So we'll put in a couple of sofas. Um, I probably ought to pause this while I'm doing this too, just in case people come in. We'll add in some lockers over here. Um, we'll get an armchair over this way. Let's actually grab these and move them up a little bit. Do 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 do. Uh, throw in a television. And a coffee table. Well, okay, we'll just put the coffee table over. Here. And then we'll add in another couple of sofas. Let's leave a little more space there. Uh, we should get a drinks machine, and a snack machine, oops, uh, garbage can. We'll get two, put one in the middle of those. Whoop, hey, go in there. Fire extinguisher, and some plants. Everybody likes plants. Make the place feel nice. And then we'll throw in a poster. All right, staff room. And on the topic of making people feel nice, no, not hire. Well, actually, I should hire a janitor. Um, huh, none of these janitors currently have access to the ghost capture skill. Hmm, motivation, mechanics, and stamina training. Maintenance and mechanics. I think I'm gonna hire you. You seem to have like the most critical stuff. Mine is the ghost thing though. All right, still. Um, items. I wanna make sure that I've got access to some stuff for people. So we're gonna put the snack machine there, the drinks machine right next to it. We'll get a garbage can over here and we'll get a leaflet stand on this side. Add a magazine rack. Then we need places for people to, oh, we also need some plants. Put in some plants. Um, okay, let's add some benches. We need some places for people to sit. We'll put them um, over here. 
and then we'll put some on the opposite side. We'll do that on both sides. Well, probably don't need quite as many benches on this side, so we'll just put one there and one on the other side. There. Okay. Should be a decent place for people to wait. Alright, I'm happy with it. Let's go. Not the most gorgeous place in the world, but it'll do the trick. Wow, you failed to cure that patient. Well, that's not ideal. Um, I should also add some niceness to this office. So we'll just throw in a plant, we'll add in a poster, make people feel nice about themselves. Uh, stick a fire extinguisher in there. Got the filing cabinet desk. Okay, we're good. All right, I'm happy with it. It's good enough for now. Can return to any hospital with it? Yes, I know about that, thank you. I don't care, we're fine. Current level three, gotta get it to four, and we need to hire five staff members, or seven staff members. Do I need to build any new facilities? I mean, so far, the drug mixer's been all I've needed. Can I upgrade this? Yes, I can. All right, go upgrade that. He's off to the ward anyway. I may as well make sure that I can treat people with the best possible results. All right, is there anywhere? Else, I'm looking for plots of land that can be purchased. I know I can buy this one over here. Apparently I can buy this one up here. So there's two more areas I can expand into. Oh, three, I can buy the house. Four, okay, wow, there's lots of places I can expand into. I just have to buy the neighborhood to do it. All right, well, that's fine. Appointment in the ward. His bed face has been cured. That nurse is just looking for work because I've got the pharmacy occupied. Gardening. I mean, who doesn't like gardening? Digging up a bit of soil, sticking your hands in a bit of manure. Oh, I can almost smell it now. No, oh, wait. This sewage pipe's burst again. Ew. <laughs> no, my mistake. Anyway, keep those fingers green. Gross. Okay. Where are all the patients? Oh, here comes one. What's wrong with you? I mean, I guess we don't know, but... It shouldn't take too long to finish upgrading that. It's already more than halfway there. About 75% finished. And he goes to reception, then to the GP's office. What about you? Are you waiting for the pharmacy? Yeah. That's fine. It'll be ready soon. Chris Haircut is busy whacking away at it with his wrench. And you're going to the ward for bed face. And you're going to the GP's office. I don't know why. It's almost done. What's wrong with you? Freudian lips, that's a pharmacy thing, isn't it? Oh no, we need psychiatry. Okay, get him to wait. We need to build a psychiatrist's office. Huh, um, I didn't think this out very carefully. Hmm, all right, let's just build it for now and we'll worry about balancing it all out in a little while. Three by three minimum. Let's make it three by five, just to kind of make it a little nicer. I'll uh, we'll put the door over here. We'll put in the psychiatrist's armchair in the corner. We'll add in the couch over here. We'll stick in a filing cabinet for good measure. Bin, fire extinguisher, uh, plants. Plants are lovely, we need plants. Uh, lighthead poster. I feel like every room in our hospital should have a fireplace. <laughs> We're gonna get a fireplace. Staff room should totally have a, oh, I can't put one in the, lame, fine. Okay, well, that's fine. That's done. This needs to have a doctor, right? With psychiatry, okay. Doctors. Well, it's gonna have to be you then. Welcome to the team. Okay, so that's what, six out of seven staff hired? Good, drug mixer is level two. Please stay still. 
Staff morale is currently at 82%. Decently nice place to work, huh? Oh, 81. Nah, it'll fluctuate. That's fine. So far, it seems like it's mostly a good place to work. Hmm. 30 grand for that one, 40 grand for that one, probably like 50 for that one, and over here is 50 grand as well. Okay. Misery Guts is a pharmacy thing. Okay. That's the nihilistic colon. You've got an appointment with the GP's office. That's fine. Okay, now my original intention was actually to have room over here for two GP's offices side by side. So I might have to, in somewhat short order, uh, buy another plot of land. And then I may move the psychiatry office and possibly the staff room over there. I'm probably gonna buy this one right here. You know what, I'm just gonna buy it. So get it started. No time like the present. Spend money to make money and all of that. Bring me more patients. Uh-oh, okay, so that's gonna require a new facility as well. Well, um, nine days left until I can build the lab for that. Well, maybe I'll just build it like right here in the middle. 24 hours a day. This is two, two and then I can start moving things around. Unless he takes a while to get diagnosed, in which case, I'll just build it over here. Yeah, I can probably build it before he's, uh, this extra wing will be built before he gets diagnosed. Fancy. Okay, Pan's Lab, get him to wait. Rooms, Pan's Lab, way down here. Oh, right, I need to make bathrooms. Okay, um, all right, we've got a few things I need to do then. Let's start by making the Pan's Lab. Ooh, which has to be a minimum of four by four. Okay, um, Let's put it down here in the corner then, because I need to be able to expand it wherever I want it to go. Uh, four by four. I'm not done making it bigger though, because I do kind of want this to be, um, a little larger. I'm trying to make some of these rooms a little bit bigger than they strictly need to be, because it increases the prestige of the room itself. Extract a pan. Alright, let's put that right over here. Let's get the. Wasn't there a control panel for this thing? No? Okay. Well, we definitely need fire extinguishers because there's big heavy equipment that can catch fire if it goes bad. Put in a couple of plants to keep it nice. Uh, we'll add a lightheaded poster over here. Put in two of them because why not? Um, garbage can in case they bring something in with them. I guess that's good enough for now. Hmm. All right. Um, doors considered useful. Have I not put a door on this room? I guess I didn't, did I? Probably ought to do that. All right, put the door over here. That's done. Hands lab created. Um, then we need to hire a doctor. Well, guess it'll be you. Training unlocked. All right, because we have all of the necessary requirements. So, great news. The Two Point Health Ministry has granted us a training license. This will allow us to train staff in all of our hospitals. Building a training room allows you to run a training course. Staff with a free training slot can go on a course to learn new qualifications. All right. Then I guess I better build one of those. 
Beware clowns. Flottering has had a bit of a problem recently. Clowns. They're everywhere. Apparently, they keep escaping from the traveling circus. Their high jinx can be a real nuisance. We need some new equipment to deal with them. The Orb Foundation have a patented method for recalibrating the minds of clowns, supporting their rehabilitation back into society. They've offered to supply us with the necessary equipment if we can demonstrate our ability to mold our own staff. Sounds a bit sinister to me, but who am I to judge? Okay. Train a staff member to unlock the clown clinic. All right. Um, how big does this need to be? Three by three? Well, if it's going to need to be that big, I may as well just make it larger. Um, put the door right there. Ooh, look at that. All right. Uh, I'll put that over right there. Seems to be fine. We'll add in a few desks. Uh, filing cabinets, because why not? It adds prestige. Garbage can. Extinguisher, just in case the fire spreads. Get some plants in here. Light-headed poster. Turn window door. Okay, I think we're good. Um, who do I need to hire for this? So, to start off a training course, click on the lectern or drop a suitable number of staff into the room. Staff will also request training when they're ready. In the training screen, select the qualification you want staff to learn, assign a trainer, and select the staff you wish to send on this course. When you're ready, click the start button. When picking a trainer, you can use your own staff, choosing one of their qualifications to teach, or you can pay extra to bring in a guest trainer. All right, um, let's give this a shot. So, I've got a training room that's fine. None available, none available. Uh, what? Train a staff member. Okay, I kind of want to train my janitor. Sorry, are you my janitor? Yeah. Can I, like, invalid navigation, teach a qualification? No empty training slot? Oh, okay, so he's not ready yet. Alright, so we should wait until somebody gets a slot, and then we can do it. Alright, so let's just keep doing business as usual until that's ready. Is my assistant... Alright, he's going back to reception. So what I want to do is, once he's got a slot, I want to teach my janitor the dealing with ghosts thing. Yeah, because see, it says training room, none available, none available... Nothing's available yet, so I need to wait until I have people who can do stuff. Why is there a random piece of garbage over there? Nurse, go to the uh, treatment in the ward. Okay, that's fine. Where the hell did my janitor go? Oh, he's watering plants. Okay. Pharmacy emergency. A group of pharmacy patients were kicked out of a jumbo hospital for making slanderous comments about Mr. McNally and are now looking for further treatment. We'll be rewarded if we treat this group of patients. Should we have them sent here? Absolutely. Send them in. I don't... I think I'm... Yeah, there's only one person in line right now, so if I need to get a few people in there, then so be it. <clears throat> what are you doing now? Watering plants, okay. Lily Lovecraft has a challenge. Cure 10 patients. Uh, yeah, go for it. I think that's perfectly doable, especially because we've got an influx of four of them coming right now. Okay, he should be going to, yeah, clean up the litter that's over there. Good. Glad to see they're doing their jobs. Uh-oh. That's problematic. If he dies, I'm gonna have a big problem. Well, if rather if he dies and decides to haunt the place, I'm gonna have a big problem. Shh. 
shoot. Okay, now I have a ghost. Okay. I need to hire a new janitor. One with the ghost's catching skill. Um, kind of tempted to hire this guy. Motivation, stamina, training, maintenance, maintenance. Oh, but he doesn't have the mechanic skill. Okay. Um, damn it, man. I really wanted to give my other guy the ability to do this. I need to see my staff real fast. Happiness and staff energy. How can I tell when they're about to level up? That seems like it would be worth knowing. Look, this is the guy. Is it this? Experience and current rank 112 out of 250. Yeah, that's what it is. Ah, crap. Okay, well, I need, I need a guy who can get rid of ghosts, because I can't just leave a ghost wandering around. That has to go away. So, I guess we're hiring a new guy, and if I decide that I don't need them both, then I'll have to fire one of them. Uh, but only one of them can do upgrades, and the other one can't. I don't have a guy who can do both, so... Alright, you're hired. Take care of the ghost. Dude, really? Would you go handle the ghost, please? You're the one who's got the skill for it. Pick up, fire, take a break, pay review, jobs, and staff customization. Oh, look at that. Ah, janitors, you're not making my life good. You need to deal with him, please. Please tell me you're taking care of the ghost. Why are you watering plants? <laughs> Why can't I prioritize the ghost as my problem? Ah, crap. This is really not good. No, you're... Looking for work. Okay, now he's capturing the ghosts. Thank you. Deal with them, please. Queue outside the GP's office. Is it worth building another one? It might be. Wow. Yeah, okay. We need a new GP. Or another GP, rather. Um, okay, so. In that case, I need to pause this thing. Because we need to move the psychiatry office. Um, so we're going to edit this thing. We're going to grab the whole thing. We're going to move it over here. Uh, I'm going to rotate. Can I rotate the building? There we go. Rotate it over to here. There. And I am totally fine with that. Look, I don't need to do anything else. We're fine. That's that's decent. No. Do I need to put the door? Oh, I need to move the door. Um, okay. No, not the whole room. Just the door. Thank you. Put the door over here. There. All right, so now that we've done that, we can build another GP's office. Can I just, like, clone the first one? Copy it. There we go. Now let's put another one right there. Uh, and then we can save that. And then I need to hire a new doctor. This guy's got training master class. Ooh, okay. You, I want hiring this guy, and we're going to put him in there. Okay. Uh, what? Who's Angelina Boop? And why is she unable to get where she needs to go? Uh, can I see, uh, characters? Patients? Use the patient list to monitor all the patients at the hospital, review the diagnoses and treatment progress, health and happiness... Um, okay. Let me find who that is. Staff. Angelina Styles. Uh, there is no Angelina Boop in there. Patience. Flog vibes. Okay, here's Angelina Boop. What? Where is Angelina? I don't... 
Is this her? There she is. All right, well, she should be able to get there now. I guess I could move the door if that's in the way somehow, but people are able to get in there. All right, we're fine. Oh my God, what is the guy in my pharmacy doing to these people? Ugh. Where's my ghost capturing janitor and why is he not capturing more ghosts? Okay, he's capturing one there. Go get the other one. Good, okay, we're about to have a ghost-free hospital again. Jeez. It's the first time ghosts have really been a problem for me. Okay, and we don't have a giant line now, right? No. The hell, she does not... Okay, you know what? We'll um, just kind of try and help him out here. I'm going to edit this real fast, and I'm going to move the door over to the other side. Okay, now maybe we can get Angelina Boop to go where she needs to go. Okay, uh, cured enough of the patient group. Wow, we did. We only cured half of them. Okay, that's fine. If it works, it works. Reporter for Two Point Radio, Sally Fig Blanket, is in the area investigating claims of cream pie poisoning at Cirque du Parfait. Uh, yeah, sure. She can come hang out. Man, 60 days, I've only cured three patients. The hell are my doctors doing right now? Oh, you know what? That is a problem, though. I have to train somebody, because if I don't... Oh, that is really, really not good. So I need to figure this out because I've got a bunch of clowns and I can't treat them because I don't have the right room for it. So they're just gonna wander around and eventually die because I can't treat them. But I need to have somebody with an available slot in order to do that. So I really need one of them to level up. Thirty one three fifty seven out of five hundred. What about you? Ninety two out of one twenty five. And you're at two fifteen out of two fifty. So I got a couple who are getting close. We'll just have to let that let that go. Who are you? Oh, you're the VIP person. Okay, that's fine. All right, this one is a little more complicated because I have to figure out how to get everyone uh, all sorted the right way. Patient being forced to stand whilst they're waiting. I'm sure they'd appreciate somewhere to sit. Well, we can certainly add more benches. Um, it seems ridiculous. They're not forced to stand. I've got room for like six people to be sitting down at least. Seven, no, twice that many. Clown clinic required. Just infection. Um... I guess I'll get him to wait for now. Oh, he's only going to wait for so long, though. Okay. This one's not going great, because I really need my doctors to freaking get to the right level. I don't have one that's doing what I need. Um, you've got psychiatry. You're on break for one more day. All right, now you're going to psychiatry. I'll just pick you up and move you over there. We'll speed things up a little bit. Staff challenge, cure 10 patients with time limit 90 days. Um, all right, I'll let it go, that's fine. And this one's treated by psychiatry, mime crisis. Psychiatric condition that causes the sufferer to perceive things that don't exist, usually boxes within which they are trapped. Sometimes scientists have speculated that the box may both exist and not exist, leading to the well-known thought experiment, Schrodinger's mime. We'll send the patient for treatment in psychiatry. Okay. I really need one of you people to freaking gain a level already. Why won't you do it? Staff. There's a couple of them that were really close, too. It was... Yep, someone's done. 
Um, 215 out of 250. Where are you? And what are you doing? He's working in psychiatry, so he should be doing some extra work there. Can I hire somebody that doesn't have, that has an available slot? Ready for training. God, I could, but... They, okay, here's one. Okay, in an effort to speed this along, we're going to hire somebody who has a slot. Now. Here we go. Okay, so select a course. Course is available. Um, let's get somebody with pharmacy management. Trainers available. We'll pick that one. That's fine. Trainees available. That one right there. Start training. Okay, I might lose this particular guy because I can't get it fast enough, but at least I'll have someone trained. And that'll unlock it so that I can actually, you know, start treating all these freaking clowns instead of having them die in my hospital. <laughs> Although Haunted Hospital, good for Halloween, right? And it is October 10th. And down here. Okay. Is this the Mime Crisis one? Yep. Oh my goodness. I have got quite the queue building in psychiatry, don't I? Um... All right, can I copy this and then paste another one right here? Sure can. And then I probably ought to hire another doctor to work in it. Doctors, none of you have psychiatry. God damn it, do I have only one doctor with psychiatry right now? Yep, I have exactly one staff member with this qualification. That sucks. Well, I'm just gonna leave it open for now. We'll have to try and get one we can. Publicity update. Um. All right, so she didn't say much about us, that's fine. Oh good, now you're ready for promotion. Fine, okay, let's give you a bit of a raise just to keep you happy. Just enough to keep you happy and it'll promote you. Okay, so now she should theoretically have a slot, right? Ready for training. Except it's the psychiatrist and I need someone who's not a psychiatrist so I can train them in psychiatry. God damn it. Okay, fine. Staff challenge, get a level four room uh, in 180 days. All right, I can do that. Is this one still level three? I guess it must be. It's almost there. All right, let's edit this one real quick. Let's get some nice stuff. Um, what else can I add? Well, we could get uh, beanbag chairs. Those might be nice to have. We'll just put a few of them like over here in like a little circle. There, now it's level four. We're good. Yeah, I know about the hospital access or overview stuff. Okay, he's about to leave because he's too impatient. We're not too impatient, but he's been waiting for ages. I feel bad making him wait that long. Okay, clown clinic unlocked, perfect. Paused with six seconds left on the clock. Maybe we can actually get this to work. Um, all right, so I need a clown clinic, which is a minimum of four by four. Uh, I don't know if I have room for it over here. Um, shoot, okay. Uh-oh, that's gonna complicate things. Okay, I might have to move some stuff around, but we're gonna figure this out. Let's put it down there for the moment. That's three, that's four. That works, okay. It's a bit of a tight squeeze, but it, what the fu All right. Clown Clinic Prestige 2, dehumorifier. <laughs> okay, get the bin, get the extinguisher. 
Uh, stick a couple of, well, a plant in there and a poster. All right, and then who do I need to hire to man this? This is gonna require a nurse. Um, I have a nurse that's almost done being trained, right? Well, actually she is trained now. So let's pick her up, we'll put her in there, and uh, then we should be good to go. And now he's not waiting, so he can go straight to the clown clinic for the jest infection. Ha ha! Just made it! New staff promotion. And be happy. Promote. Okay, they're leaving the hospital. That is fine. Okay, who is available? Junior doctor and straight up doctor. I want the junior doctor. Um, I want him trained in psychiatry and the trainer, I actually want to bring in the outside consultant so my current one can continue doing psychiatry and start training. It's gonna have to be good enough for the moment. Okay. What in the hell is going on? Oh God. Oh God! <laughs> like a depression machine to clean up the clownness. Oh God, and they failed to treat him too. Well, he still paid, so. Now I feel really bad. <laughs> oh well. This is not my best planned out hospital, but at the moment I'll just take it. Okay, I need to promote three staff members. I've promoted one. I need to train three staff members. I'm about to train one. Okay. Well, we're not totally screwed. We're doing all right. Ish. It's definitely some work that needs to be done, but we're we're getting there. Um, are there any of these machines that I can upgrade? No. Really, it's just those two right now. The pharmacy and the other one are the ones I've even got. Well, we made $67,000 in profit, so I guess we're actually making some money now. Uh, staff promotion. Okay, well, let's promote you then. You've been promoted, good. So that's three, two, three, two staff members. Can I add another person? Pick up, sell for, oh, no, okay. A lot of patients are queuing outside rooms that are run by doctors, but there aren't any available considering hiring more doctors. Uh, let's see, which ones are doctor run? All right, I know that one's busy, but it's really just because I've got the guy in training. Um, extract a pan one needs one too. Am I, how many doctors do I have? Um, staff. Doctors, 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 doctors. We have four doctors. One of them is in training. Um, and when they do, they're also going to be going into psychiatry. So that leaves the two psychiatry rooms, the pan lab, and the two GP's offices, so I probably ought to hire another doctor, actually, because I'm gonna be one short. All right. Let's hire a new guy. Um, given that I'm trying to promote more people, and I just need him to go into the GP's office, we'll hire the guy with the diagnostics skill. Ooh, actually, no, let's hire the general practice dude, put him in there. It occurs to me, I haven't actually built like a diagnosis room yet either. I probably ought to do that. Mm. Oh, and that's a nursing staff run room too. So that's actually fine. Three by three, make it three by four, put a door over there. Um, I'll start just building this in here. The easy scan goes there, table goes over here. Um, we'll add in a nice filing cabinet and a bin, and an extinguisher, poster on that wall, and a plant. Okay, and then I need to hire another nurse to handle it. 
Um, we'll hire one with some diagnostic skills. Put her in there. Okay, maybe that'll kind of help too, because we can get some extra diagnostics going, which might also put a decrease on the the GP population. All right, that ought to help put a bit of a dent in our problem. Now, I could probably build another plot of land over here. This one was forty thousand, wasn't it? Yeah. Let's hire. Let's buy this one. I feel like I'm gonna need to expand here in pretty short order. So. If I build that over there, I can probably start moving some of these rooms over that way. And I probably ought to build some stuff over here. Uh, let's get some garbage, put a garbage can over here. And then we'll add in the drinks machine and snack machine over here. Uh, and then we'll throw in some benches, because people need places to sit down. And we'll throw in a nice plant. Because plants make people feel better. Let's put in another one over here, too. Alright. I'm good with that. Training course complete on psychiatry. That is fantastic. So now I have a psychiatrist, another psychiatrist on staff. Okay, the awards countdown is coming. That's fine. I made 12,000. I like that. All right, let's let the awards thing kick off and then we'll proceed on from there. Um, oh, did I skip them by accident? Well, okay, I didn't mean to completely skip them. I just meant to dismiss the notification. All right, um, so be it, I suppose. Let's just keep moving. Who can I train next? Who needs to be trained? I have three trainees available, one nurse and two doctors. Let's get the junior doctor first. Well, if I do though, he's gonna be General practice. Is he the only one, too? No, we've got two staff with that qualification. Okay. Man, I don't know. I guess Dr. Isabel wouldn't be a bad choice. I could also do him and just suffer through it for a bit. Let's do that. Um, oh, I really like the idea of maybe getting the stamina training. Let's do that. Um, and I don't much care for the idea of taking up three staff members, so I'm gonna hire another guy. So we'll just train both of them at once, and that should actually take care of all of the trainees. There will be some lines while that's going on, but that's just gonna have to be the price we pay. Too bad it has to happen. Um, who are you? Oh, you're the, the trainer, okay, that's fine. Are there any rooms that I want to move over there? I could move like the psychiatry offices over there and like turn into a psychiatry wing of some sort. Man, I'm having a tough time treating the clowns. Still having some decent success everywhere else though, so. Well, I don't see much of a problem janitorial-wise. Looks like all the plants are in pretty good order. Um, I don't know what that means. Bins are all fine. Ooh, that's right, I can upgrade this. I should do that, actually. Uh, pick up. Upgrade to easy scan, too. Okay. Eh, made 54,000. Yeah, I know, I feel bad about it, but it's just, that's gonna have to be the way it goes. It, they're gonna have to wait till this guy's done getting trained. Till they are done getting trained. Oh, he's already 50% done. 60%, yeah, this is fine. Not worried about it at all. 
do 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 Hope you can finish with them before the janitor gets there to start upgrading the machine. There we go. Speaking of which, where the hell is the janitor that's got that skill? Is it you? No, you're the ghost guy. Oop, what is this? There's been an outbreak of Mockstar after a recent spike in polite and positive responses to karaoke performances. The families of the afflicted are sending them for treatment. We'll be rewarded if we treat this group, should we have them sent here. Absolutely. That's a psychiatry thing, and I've got two psychiatrist trained doctors on staff. Although one of them might be in here. No. Yes, okay. But they're almost done. There's only 1% left, and they're now trained. So they can go back to work, and everything is fine. New illness discovered. Well, yeah, we knew about Mockstar from the previous hospital, but yes. For this one, it is the first one we've discovered. Okay, now my doctors can go back to work where they're supposed to. That's done, so I just need another guy. Oh, that's kind of nice. Well, I'm going to let them just do their thing for now, but I don't really want to micromanage quite that much, but it's nice to know that I could if I felt like it. Okay, so there should be doctors in the two psychiatry rooms, the pan lab and the two GP offices. So I should have one, two, three, four, five doctors, right? How many do I have? I've got five. So there should be one everywhere, although they might be on break. Where are all of my doctors? Working in psychiatry, okay. Um, working in GP's office. Why are you in the GP's office? No, 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 no. Where's pick up? Pick up. You get your butt in psychiatry. You should be working there. I have too many people that need treatment for that to be something else. Where's this guy at? He's working in the GP's office, good. Uh, you are looking for work. Working in GP, working in psychiatry, working in GP, looking for work, working in psychiatry. Okay, that I can live with. All right. Um, Colin Puffin, ready for promotion from doctor to consultant. All right. Where's the... Jeez, consultants get paid a lot. Fine, you're promoted. And that takes care of that. Okay. Congratulations, your hospital's awarded a one-star rating by the Two-Point Health Ministry. You're getting rather good at this, I see, and showing signs of an ability to develop staff from within. How terribly promising, which is to say, how terrible. Stay there to nurture this fledgling talent, or abandon it altogether and move on to pastures new in our chilly northern region. Yours fragrantly, Tarquin Foxbridge, Health Minister. Alright, so we've unlocked, it looks like, two new hospitals, actually. Reception and Clown Poster. Alrighty then. Reception unlocked. Is that a room? Uh, I don't know about you, but I find the relentless stream of deaths somewhat depressing. Go 90 days without a death. We can try it. I don't know that it'll happen, but we can try it. Um... Oh, crap. Well, so much for that staff request. He's dead within five days. All right, well, that didn't work. Can promote this guy, though. Uh, compared to their online rivals, our hospital has the highest... Ours has the highest cure rate with 76%. Okay, that's kind of sad. You're promoted. They're dead. Did they leave a ghost? They absolutely did. Damn it. Okay, well, I've got a janitor for that. Um, is one of you... I don't know where my other janitor went. I should look for him. I've got a thing for that. Oh, capturing the ghost. Look at that. Okay, good. 
This guy's a... Oh, he just hit the promotion level. What about you? He's very close. And then I can teach him how to capture ghosts. Career goal achieved. Upgrade five machines. That's nice. Staff promotion. Uh, yeah. Pay the janitor more. There you go. You've been paid. Can I view my... No. Okay, that's patience list training, blah, blah, blah. Fine. Um, okay, 90 days without a death. Oh, it still counts? I guess because the guy was dead technically before that started? Oh, or it gives... Okay, it gives me 180 days to go 90 days without killing someone. Ooh, good. Four out of four patients treated. That's pretty cool. Uh, two-star... Oh, okay, so to become a two-star hospital, we have to achieve level nine, promote six staff members, and train six staff members. Diagnosis decision. One of our patients, Pookie Force, has been sent to all of our diagnosis rooms, but we're only 79% sure of the diagnosis. Uh, treat him anyway. 79%'s a pretty good chance of getting it right, so I vote we go for it. Lycanthropy? Really? Uh, our doctors have discovered a new illness, lycanthropy. Once thought to be extinct, lycanthropy is making a comeback in dangerous forests across the land. Sufferers get it from direct exposure to light from the full moon or possibly from door handles. Research is ongoing to discover which. Okay. Who's got lycanthropy? Spooky. I like it. Estimated chance of cure, 30%. Ugh. Well, that's not ideal. Um, new staff promotion. Let's bump you up to where you're happy to get promoted. Um, break policy for each staff type in the overview screen. Set how many staff of each type can take a break at the same time. Ooh, that's actually really handy. Um, so that was in the staff overview, was it? Staff overview... Pay review, job assignments, maybe? Extinguish fires, capture ghosts, clean up waste, clean up rubbish, water plants, restock machines, unlock toilets, upgrade machines, repair machines. Um, well, you know what? I'll figure that out later. I don't need to worry about it right this second. But that's actually really, really nice. Um, oh, here we go. Who can use? Well, that lets me turn them on and turn them off. Uh, I'd imagine that somewhere there's a way to change the settings of the room itself to do that, but I'll worry about that a little while later. Got another person promoted. Okay. Let's just bump you up. Promote. Um, wow, I'm suddenly making a lot of money. All right. Um, I've got that much cash. I might as well just spend 100000 and buy the other two plots of land so that I have them when I need them. Um, oh goodness, look at the time. Okay, um, alright, so we're pretty much done with this hospital for now. We've certainly leveled it up to the point where we've got the next ones unlocked. Um, so I'm gonna visit the map. And so another day begins in Two Point County, where students at the Mitten School of Medicine may soon be able to practice on actual living people. Any budding doctors should remember that gluing heads back on to accidentally decapitated patients is all very well with dummies, but there are no do-overs in real life. Is that a common practice? And it's even easier to fall down. That's why authorities recommend only seasoned climbers and hikers visit this beautiful region of Two Point County. Or at least people with good health coverage. The rest of us will have to make do with a postcard. Okay. So we've unlocked another two hospitals. Tumble. And Mitten University. Altogether, though, we're doing pretty well. Our entire organization is worth over is two and a half million dollars, with sixteen thousand shares and one hundred fifty-four sixty a share. Um, we got a couple career things, didn't we? Ah, here's one, and here's another one. So we've upgraded enough machines and watered enough plants, so that got us another two hundred k. Kudosh, whatever. Earn a thousand kudosh is another one. And we're 25 points away. Which I'm sure we could get pretty easily. Cure a thousand patients with jest infection. Promote a bunch of people. Earn a bunch of money. 
Um, get three stars to a bunch of places. Repair a hundred machines. Getting kind of close to that one. Uh, is there anything else we're getting close to yet? No, not at the moment. But all that's good and well. But I think we're done for the most part, at least for now. God, there's so many levels in this game, aren't there? I mean, looking around, I'm just kind of trying to examine it. There's obviously going to be... Flemington, get a star in Mitten University, get a star in Tumble. So as soon as I get one star in each of these, that unlocks the third one over here. Um, and it looks like there's probably supposed to be another one over in this region somewhere. Is Maybe this is all the first one, but I don't know. That's one, two, three, four, five, six of them, each of which have three stars in total. But I'm betting that there's going to be more of them off in this direction over here and maybe over in this direction. I guess it all just kind of depends on how it all opens up as we unlock new levels. But, all right, I'm done talking. Thank you all so much for joining me. I hope you've had fun with this so far. I really, really like this game. I think it's a lot of fun. Um, and I plan to keep going on it for at least a little while longer. So if you're enjoying the series, please make sure to... Ugh, I'm sorry, I can't talk. That whole staying up till 2 a.m. thing. If you've liked the series thus far, please make sure that you hit that like button. Feel free to leave a comment down in the section below. And as always, guys, I will see everyone in the next episode. Catch you guys later.